Hi friends, in this video we are going to talk about how to use variables in Grafana with examples. You can see I have created a blog post on using variables in Grafana with examples. I have given you the screenshots, notes and easy explanations. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Variables in Grafana can be used to substitute common values in multiple places of a dashboard at a time. For example, if I change the state name here in this drop down, which is actually a variable in Grafana dashboard, if I just change this value, three dashboards have been affected. Let me change the variable again. Again, three dashboard panels are changed by just changing one variable. By the way, if you don't know what Grafana is, Grafana is an awesome and powerful visualization and monitoring tool using which you can build very easy dashboards. If you don't know what is Grafana or how to use Grafana, I have already made a playlist on that and I will leave the link of the playlist in the description. Alright, let's get back to Grafana variables. So using variables in Grafana, you can substitute a single value in multiple dashboard panels at a time. This saves you a lot of time. Imagine if I don't have variables option here, I need to go to each dashboard panels edit page. I need to go to the edit of this dashboard panel and here in the query, I need to change the state name manually. And the same needs to be done in these two dashboard queries also. So imagine if you have a dashboard which analyzes a particular person or IP address or some entity and now you want that dashboard to analyze another entity. And if the dashboard has some 20 panels, you need to go to each of the 20 panels and change the query of the dashboard panel for each dashboard panel. So Grafana variables solve this exact problem. Now that we have introduced Grafana variables and the reasons for using Grafana variables, let's get to know how to create Grafana variables and use them in your dashboards very easily with examples. Now to create a demo dashboard to explain Grafana variables, we need some data, right? I have downloaded a sample data set from this link and I will leave the link of this data set in the description. You can download the data as CSV. The data looks something like this. And now we are going to build dashboard on this data. You can create Grafana variables with any data source. But for this example, to be simple, I'm using a CSV data source and I'm using the Grafana Infinity data source for connecting my Grafana with the CSV. In your case, you can use any data source like a JSON data source or Postgres data source or Oracle data source, etc. But for this example, we are using a CSV data source. If you don't know how to use CSV in Grafana using the Infinity data source, I've already made a video on that and I will leave the link of that video in the description of this video. All right, let's create a dashboard and create variables. So I'm logged into my Grafana and I'm going to click a new dashboard. I'm going to add a visualization and I'm adding a CSV data source. Let's try to save this dashboard and let's try to name it something like demo for variables and save this dashboard. Now we got a dashboard and now let's try to create a small visualization from the CSV data source. Let's try to edit the dashboard visualization and let's try to just drag this up so that we can easily edit the query. I've already made the data source as the CSV data source, which is the Grafana Infinity data source. And instead of making the type of the query as JSON, I'm going to make it as something called UQL. And the source would be actually an inline file because I did not host my CSV file. So now I'm going to import the data from the upload. So I'm selecting this data set. The file is being uploaded to Grafana. I'll let the file is uploaded. And then let's try to write the UQL here. I'm going to just write parse CSV and the whole CSV data would be parsed. And you can even see the preview here. The data of the CSV is being populated here. Now I just want to project these two columns, which is name of the city and population total. So I'm going to write project population total and also name of the city. So I got my required data. Now let's try to change this visualization to something called a pie chart. And in the value options, I'm going to say all values. Let's try to keep the legend and let's try to remove the labels here in the pie chart. All right, we have set up our visualization. Now we have set up a simple dashboard using a CSV data source. You can set up a dashboard with any data source. Now let's try to go to the main part, which is creating the variables. So let's go to the settings of this dashboard and here go to variables. And now add a variable. Before adding a variable, let's try to know what are the variable types. So there's a very important variable type called query variable where the variable drop down would be populated by a data source query. That means that means instead of writing the options manually, you can fetch the variable drop down options from a data source using a query. And the next variable type is custom variable where you manually mention 
what are the options of the variable drop down and there's another variable type called a text box variable where user can enter value in a text box and it will be the value of that variable all right let's try to create a variable for each variable type so in my dashboard settings i'm going to the variable tab and here i'm going to add a variable and select the variable type as query and i want to fetch the variable options from a data source and the data source can be the csv data source which i've just used in my dashboard and the query type can be the data source thing which is the infinity data source query and here the type would be the same thing which is the ukl and the source would be the file upload Re upload the file the file is uploading before the file uploads let's try to rename the variable name the name of the variable let's try to write it like state name you can even change the display name of the variable now i want to make the variable to fetch the state names from the csv so i'm going to write parse csv and then just project the state name so now the variable options should be the state name column from the csv and the awesome thing about this variables management page is that once you write the query for your variable a preview of the variable values can be seen here and i can see these values are what i want so if you do some mistake in your query then you can easily see that values will not be populated here since i have written the query correctly i can now see the values options here in the preview and confirm that my query is good all right let's try to save this query i'm going to apply and save the dashboard now the dashboard is saved and i've got a variable called state name let's go to our dashboard which is demo for variables and here now you can see the state name drop down and the drop down values are being fetched from the csv data source you don't need to manually enter the drop down values so most of the time when you use grafana variables you're gonna use this query variable type now let's try to change the state name but the visualization is not changing because the variable name is not being substituted in the visualization so how are you going to substitute the variable in the visualization query it's actually very simple just use the variable name with a dollar in the query of the visualization let's try to do that now remember the variable name is the state underscore name let's try to use that here i'm going to edit the visualization so go to this three dots edit this visualization and go to the visualization query the visualization query is parse csv project name of the city population total and obviously i need to write a where clause also here so i'm going to write where state name equal to and the state name should be equal to the variable selection so the variable can be used something like this dollar state underscore name you can write something like gujarat here but this would be a hard coded value in the query instead of writing hard coded value in the query i'm using the variable value which is dollar state name now the visualization query is using the variable to display data now let's go to the dashboard and let's try to change the state name here and reload the data all right i've done a mistake here it's not double quotes it should be a single quote in the uql syntax so if you go to the dashboard and change the state the dashboard is showing the updated values based upon the state selection from this variable drop down all right let's try to duplicate this panel so i'm gonna more duplicate and i've got another visualization here let's try to resize this to accommodate the screen so in the second panel let's try to show some other visualization so here instead of projecting the population underscore total csv column i'm going to project the effective literacy rate total column and now if i go to the dashboard again and change the state here now you can see the two dashboard panels are updating with one single variable change so this way you can substitute one variable value in multiple dashboard panels all right let's try to save this dashboard so we have successfully covered how to use the query variable in Grafana dashboards. Let's try to create another variable which is a custom variable where you manually mention the variable drop down values. So let's go to the settings of this dashboard. Let's go to the variables tab and here create a new variable and this time select the variable type as custom. Let's try to select a column name which I want to visualize. So let's try to make the variable name something like metric for display and here you can see grafana has given you a very readable and user friendly placeholder where it mentions the syntax of how to give the values you can give the values directly suppose like one two three four or a b c d or whatever the values or else you can give a key value pair where there will be a readable drop down option 
but the value will be sent from the key value page let's try to mention our options in this format which is a key value page so i have copy pasted three columns of the csv from this csv file and here i have pasted this first column name a comma and the second column name and the third column name notice that i have given spacing also after this comma before and after this comma and the preview values of the drop down are shown here so these drop down options i have mentioned manually and these are visible here this is one way of mentioning the drop down options the another way is to give the key value page let's try to do that now so instead of showing the column name something like this to the user i can write sex space ratio and give a colon something like this and here you can see the drop down is and here you can see the visible drop down value is sex ratio but the variable value would be sex underscore ratio let's try to do this for the other options also so i'm going to write something like literacy rate and then total graduates you can see i forgot to mention a space between this colon and the key that's why i'm seeing this whole thing so let's try to give a space here now the display is as expected so the preview of values is very useful to check if you have written the options correctly or not so i've created a variable called metric for display and i've mentioned the values let's try to apply this and save the dashboard save this now go to the demo for variables dashboard and you got the two variables one is a query variable which fetches the variable values from a data source query and another is a custom variable where you have mentioned the options manually in the dashboard variable settings all right let's try to make this second dashboard panel to display the pie chart based upon the column name mentioned in this custom variable so i'm gonna edit this dashboard and here in the projection instead of writing this effective literacy rate total i'm gonna use the variable metric for display so let's try to replace this with dollar metric underscore for underscore display and let's try to see that visualization here let's try to change this metric and you can see the visualization is being updated so in the dashboard again let's try to change the metric the visualization is updated so let's try to save the dashboard and now you have used two variable types which is a query type variable and the custom variable now let's go to the third variable type which is the text box variable type suppose you don't want the user to select from a drop down you want the user to mention the variable value manually in a text box this is where text box variable comes in handy so let's try to go to the settings of the dashboard go to the variable section and create a new variable let's try to make the variable name something like title variable type would be a text box variable let's try to write the name of the variable let's try to apply and save the dashboard and go to your dashboard demo for variables and here you can see the variable input let's try to use this variable in this dashboard title actually so go to the panel options edit the dashboard panel and in the dashboard panel options you can see the panel title let's try to replace this with the title variable so i can just write dollar title and that's it save save the dashboard go to the dashboard and let's say to write something here and the same is reflected in this dashboard title let's try to make this title meaningful let's try to edit the dashboard panel you know we are displaying the metric from the drop down right so in the panel title you can say dollar metric for display of state name save this and go to the demo for variables you can see sex ratio of haryana let's say to change the state name to something like uttar pradesh and then change the metric total graduates you can see total graduates of uttar pradesh let's say to change this title also you can see the text box is also being reflected here this way using the text box variable you can use you can take the user input as text and substitute it in the dashboard visualizations you can see that variables can be used not only in the dashboard visualization queries you can also use the variable values in something like titles all right these are the major variable types which is the query variable custom variable and the text box variable we also completed how to use variables in the grafana dashboard now let's talk about another awesome feature of grafana variables which is nested variables using nested variables you can create something called a hierarchical select boxes let's try to demonstrate that now go to the dashboard settings 
and variable section now let's try to create a variable drop down for selecting the cities also so create a new variable make it a query type make the variable name something like city and the data source would be the csv data source the query type would be infinity and the type would be uql and the data source would be the file upload so upload the file and now let's try to select the column called name of city so i'm going to write for csv and then project the name of city column now you can see the drop down values are populated as expected let's try to apply this and save dashboard you see each state has some cities in it but here in the city drop down i am seeing all the cities of all the states what if i change the state name and only the cities of those states will be appearing here that means the drop down city is dependent on the drop down state name so this is something like a hierarchical select box so you are selecting a city based upon the state so this kind of hierarchical select boxes can be easily achieved in grafana by substituting one variable in another variable query let's try to do that now i'm going to go to the dashboard settings go to the variable tab and here in the city variable go to the variable query and here let's try to write a where clause i'm going to write where state name equal to the variable name which is dollar state name i'm projecting the column name of the city but with a condition that the state of the city is based upon my grafana variable selection that means only the cities of the selected state would be visible in the drop down let's try to see the variable values here i am getting some values let's try to apply this and save the dashboard in fact let's try to move up this variable so that it can be used beside the state name let's try to save the dashboard again and let's go to the demo for variables dashboard and here if i change the state name the cities are being updated let's try to change the state name again and the cities are being updated so this way you can create multi level select boxes using nested variables and this feature can be used to create something like a very convenient user interface so nested variables means the drop down options of one variable depends on the selection of another variable you can see i have created a blog post on using variables in grafana with examples i have given you the screenshots notes and easy explanations so that you can create variables in your own grafana dashboards so please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video i have also given the references to the official grafana documentation to variables and i have also given the link to the sample dataset being used in this video the official grafana documentation on variables is also a good place where you can learn more about grafana variables so that's it guys this is how you can use variables in grafana please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace